Charlie today is going to show us how to do the how to use the Lightner system and I've made it a little bit easier for our FS children. So I've got one basket here. What's this basket for? If it's hard, then you have to put it in the hard basket and you practice it a lot and lot and lot. Yeah, well done. And what about this basket? What do we do with this basket? Uh if you know it, if you if it's easy, you put in that one. Well done. Why do we put it there? Because it's easy. And then do we need to practice it lots and lots? No. Just sometimes. Well done. What about this basket? What's this basket for? If you know it again, you need to practice it one time. Air. Well done. Was that easy or a little bit tricky? Easy. Easy? Okay. Go and put it like this. Ooh. I mean, ooh. So I need to practice it sometimes. Can I help you? Yep. Cup of tea. E. Well done, we'll keep practicing that one. Air. Well done, was that easy or a little bit tricky? Easy. Boy. Good boy. Well done. Jug of goose. E. Good boy. What is that one, Charlie? Don't know. Shall we look at the back? Yeah. Smile in the rain. A. But why did we put them in this basket? So we can learn them a lot of times. Excellent. So we can learn them a lot of times because these ones were quite... Super tricky. A little bit tricky. They were. They were a little bit tricky, weren't they? Um, oh. What's the word? Oh, oh. Orange. Well done. Was that easy or was it a little bit tricky? Easy. Easy. Where are you going to put it? Excellent, well done. What about this one? Umbrella. Umbrella, where are you going to put it? Excellent, why did you put it there, Lamise? Because it was easy. What about this Vulture. Vulture. Let's say it together. Vulture. Vulture. Well done. I think that one was a little bit tricky. Yeah. We'll pop it in there, well done. So in this basket, we've got the ones that we need to practice. A lot of A time. lot of time, so we need to practice these every day. Hi, I'm Georgia and I'm in year 12. If a teacher gives me a presentation with a lot of words and speaks over it while I'm trying to read it, it's very hard for me to concentrate as there are multiple distractions. So I would prefer it if you put up an image so it could help me trigger my memory or if you let me read it first and then speak to me because then it lets me remember it in the long term and if you let me practice it beforehand I get better suited to what I'm doing. For example in drama if you give me the script and let me read it individually before performing it in a group it also allows me to remember it better in the long term since I've rehearsed it by myself first and it gives me an idea of my character. Hi my name is Faithful I'm from year four and I like to practice it Time Stable Rock Stars. That is an educational game that you can practice your time tables in so you can improve your time tables. Mr. Parkinson says that TTRS Time Stable Rock Stars helps you feed your brain when it comes to mathematics and it helps you realize in your time tables, which is really good for you in math and in other things. So when you grow up, most of the jobs need math and then you're going to use math a lot. So T Time Stable Rockstar is such a good educational game to help you with your math. So every time you're on a higher level, is you're improving even more and more and more. Well, I practice Time Stable Rockstars at home, in school, um, in the bus. And I also tell my sister to do TTRS. And now she's really encouraged and uh, she's do doing TTRS and most of her time in her free time. In the beginning of the year, I used to take three to four seconds. And now, right now, I'm improving. And now it's 0 0.97 seconds. So I've improved a lot. And that's another way how I know I've improved. <laughs> 